So, in distinguishing between introverts and extroverts, we tend to focus more on polarizing the level of physical interactions um, relating to introverts and extroverts. So, in this video, I will discuss the actual difference between introverts and extroverts. So, stay tuned. We normally say that extroverts are people who love to mingle with others. They are outgoing and expressive most of the time. And on the flip side, introverts are folks who enjoy their own company by staying indoors almost all the time. They gain energy by being alone. The fact of the matter is, those two descriptions do not paint the whole picture because they tend to oversimplify the real difference between the two psychological traits. So, extroverts are people who are psychologically outward, that is, they primarily focus on things happening around them. They are usually on the edge to interact or observe whatever comes their way. Their psychological or mental state manifests itself pragmatically or practically. This is the reason why extroverts seem to socialize a lot. Even in a new environment, extroverts would easily get along with new people because their psychological state is vested in the things around them. In contrast, introverts are people who are psychologically inward. Because introverts spend most of their psychological engagements inside of their heads by thinking excessively, it makes them insular, just as we say that they enjoy their own company. They constantly think about how they feel about things occurring around them before making a pragmatic effort to interact physically. For example, introverts seem to be loud and open around people they are conversant with or people they already know. However, in a new environment, they isolate themselves by thinking about how they feel about the new people they have met or the new thing they have seen before they socialize. So, how would one discover whether he or she is an introvert or an extrovert? So, the real marker of being an introvert or an extrovert is determined by what a person does the most. Both introverts and extroverts socialize alike. However, the frequent or the prevalent psychological state of a person is what determines whether a person is an introvert or an extrovert. So, if one excessively thinks about how he or she feels about things around him or her almost all the time, that makes such a person an introvert. And if one is always psychologically aroused to practically interact with their environment to derive logic, that makes such a person an extrovert. So, the actual difference is how they manifest psychologically, not how often they socialize with others. Because social interactions are indispensable. No matter who you are, you surely have to talk to somebody at any point in time. On the aspect of losing and gaining energy, if extroverts spend a great deal of time thinking excessively about how they feel about everything, they would end up mentally exhausted because they are not psychologically wired to communicate inwardly to themselves to a greater degree to derive logic. They gain energy when they alleviate their brains from excessive thinking to interact physically. That is how their brains reward them. And in contrast, introverts lose energy when they spend most of their time actively interacting with people. They are not hardwired to be pragmatic in social interactions for long because they already have so much going on internally or psychologically. Their reward system is activated when they spend time within themselves. So that was the real difference between introverts and extroverts. So if my explanation resonates with your personality, go down in the comments and confirm that. So that's it for today. Um, thanks for watching and you know the drill. Like, subscribe and share with others. So see you in the next episode. Bye.